So now that we've updated our colors and fonts, I'm going to show you how to update the content. So I have tidied up my fonts just a little bit because I changed them and changed the kind of styles of them and you will need to go and kind of clean that up a bit once you swap it because different fonts are different sizes. You might want something from uppercase to lowercase, things like that. So I'm going to start here on the text and show you how to do that. So if we go into the section, and for this I'm just going to cl click on the page here so I can see all the individual bits that are on it. I'm going to change this, so about us, there's only me here, so I'm just going to double click on it and change it to about, about Jillian, there we go. And here, you again, you just double click and you can change the font, the text, so I'm just going to paste this in just so I get a little bit more because I don't really have copy here. There we go, so I'm going to use the full size. Now if you do have a little bit more text, what you can do is you can just pull the box down so if I want it to be about this size once you've done that what you're going to notice is your text is a bit far down compared to your heading if you select everything here now I'm pressing the command button on my Mac and um, I think that's the alt button on a Windows machine so I'm going to hit that or I can just hit here hit the shift button and click here on this section and highlight all of that I want to make sure it's centered to the middle I'm going to distribute evenly, there we go, align it to the center, and if I press this one here, it aligns it to the center of this section, so there we go, we moved it up a bit. So now I want to change the content on the other bits when I click the, the arrows, because you'll notice when I click the arrows here, it doesn't change between sections. Click the folders, and that will change here. So for example, this happened when I changed all my font stylings, so I need to click on that and just change it to normal. Again, I'm just going to change this to about me. This box, that went white when I changed my colors, so I'm going to click on that again and just change it to this. You can change it to any color you want in your palette, but I'm going to have it this color. And again, I'm just going to put a little bit more text in here. And I'm going to stop it about here. There we go. So what you're noticing here is I'm putting in more text and it's kind of pulling it a bit funny here. So I'm just going to pull that down and move this box up. But this one, the text is going over the images. So what we're going to do here, we're actually going to make this section a little bit bigger. We're going to take this and pull it down. You can also just change it here so you'll see that bit here when I move this. It changes it here as well. But I just like to use this because it gives me a very visual representation of what I'm changing. And I'm going to move these buttons down, which will move them down on every canvas view, because you'll see they're out with the folders. And then I'm going to move these images down, this box up, and I'm just going to resize it. So that's how you, oh, that is how you resize when you're changing text. So you'll see it's moved down slightly there, so I'm just going to space it out a bit more by moving that picture down. And if I want it to be exactly in the middle, I highlight all of those and just press distribute there so it pulls it into the middle bit there. View 3. Again, I want to update this. Change it to normal. Update this background. And I like that amount of text, so I'm just going to keep that there, but I want to put it there in the middle. So again, I'm going to change that. I'm going to move that little bit up there and distribute. So what I want to do now is go on my preview page and you'll see it here if I click on the desktop version. So here we go, we can go through it all and you see it there. All sorted. That is how you change content on your show it um, templates. It's the same for all the text, just double click on it. If there's a different view, click on the, click on the folders and it will change folders. But yes, that is how you update your content.